Alrighty, welcome back to Free Will Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and or Rising. Alright. So we're going to get into the reading. I'll take that one. One oracle from the Seeker Oracle. For the overall theme and or topic for the reading and then we will get five cards from the gilded tarot royale and then we will clarify as we go all right scorpio here is your situation your challenge what to consider moving forward, how it's naturally progressing, and the advice. And like I said, we will clarify as we go. And one card from the Spirit Animal Oracle to close out the reading. One card for Scorpio. Take that one. All right, let's get right into it. So the overall theme or topic for your reading, Scorpio, is balance your energy. Balance your energy. So I'm getting from this card already is for the Scorpios out there watching, you might feel off balance at the moment. You might feel like you're being pulled in multiple directions, maybe. Maybe some Scorpios out there could be focused more so on the past or the future and having depression from focusing on the past or focusing too much on the future, thus giving you some sense of anxiety. Balance your energy. Let's read from the guidebook and get a little deeper here. <clears throat> Balance your energy. If you find yourself feeling tired, tense, and anxious during your day, then there's a good chance that your body is trying to tell you that it's time to stop. It's time to accept that you're not coping with day-to-day -day demands as well as you could be and do something about it. Sure, you could take a moment to realign your chakras. If nothing more, taking a moment to still your mind and breathe will help you get through a tough moment. But if you're struggling every day or feeling shattered by the end of every week, then you need to make lasting changes. When did you last take some time to rest and relax? Could you run yourself a warm bath and soak away any tension you are holding on to? Self-care goes deeper than having a facial or doing your nails. Are you holding on to stagnant pain or emotion? When was the last time you did a mental or emotional health check to look at and work through issues that might be increasing your stress burden? Are you willing to make lifestyle changes in order to restore balance? Adequate sleep, nutritious food, regular exercise, meditation, companionship, and relaxation. If you're not getting enough of each or not making time for them, then stop making excuses and look after yourself. Make time so your body, mind, and spirit receive all they need to help keep your energy balanced and your heart centered. When you balance your energy, you restore calm. <clears throat> when you find your center, you will find peace. When you are at peace, you will find yourself moving through life with more ease, responding instead of reacting. Okay. So, like the book said, you might be focusing too much on an issue, maybe not getting enough sleep, maybe not getting enough meditation or exercise or putting enough, uh, 
effort or energy into some companionship maybe let's see what the situation is all right so for the situation we have knight of wands so i feel like you're definitely trying to focus your energy in maybe a specific direction you might be trying to come up with different ideas as to how to balance your energy trying new ideas throwing them at the wall and seeing what sticks if it does stick if it does work you'll know to continue those ideas until they don't work anymore and if they don't work you'll know to keep it moving and try new ideas why is this knight of wands here Page of Pentacles. I get the feeling some Scorpios out there could be from the Knight of Wands to the Page of Pentacles. It tells me there's a situation where you are looking at your worth, your own value, and maybe comparing it with others. I'm also getting that you could be looking at others' worth and value, obviously comparing, contrasting, but in a sense where you might be sizing up, well, is this person and what they bring to the table either good enough for me or, like I say, comparing, contrasting? Is there, if there's maybe another person you have in mind, maybe it's that you're comparing and contrasting the pros and cons of each person, which is another thing I'm getting from the Knight of Wands. Sure, the Knight of Wands has a bad rap for being a player or an F-boy, let's say. But when we're talking specifically about a situation, let's say, where you might not necessarily intend on coming across that way, I feel like you are being very cautious about who you invest in. The Page of Pentacles is the card right before the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is usually cautious about who, what they invest their time, money, energy, effort into. Obviously, the Knight of Pentacles is non or in this reading thus yet, but maybe it will pop up, but point being, the Page of Pentacles is the step right before it, and you might be getting into a process where you're like, okay, maybe I need to take it more slow instead of being in this Knight of Wands, charging ahead with determination, with passion, giving all to a situation, and then trying another situation, giving it all to that. Let's see, what is the challenge? Okay, Scorpio's challenge right now with balancing out their energy is the 10 of swords. So I feel like with this being the challenge, you're definitely having a hard time healing from a past betrayal, backstabbing, an ending of some sort. This also could point out that some Scorpios are still healing from abandonment issues. I usually don't get that with this card, but I feel like a lot of Scorpios out there are, if this reading is resonating with them, uh, that is, that, that the Scorpios out there are not only trying to heal from a breakup maybe or an ending of some sort with someone else or a betrayal or a backstabbing, they're trying to heal from that, they're trying to heal from any abandonment issues, but they're trying to get back out there and receive some sort of 
love or effort or put their effort into the people that they view are worth it to them, people that have value to them. Clarify the Ten of Swords there. Yeah. Ten of Swords to the Lovers. So this is definitely a deep connection that you feel with someone else. This is a magnetic pull that you have towards someone. You might feel like this is done and over with, with this person, and you might find it challenging to make a decision about coming together with them or make, you might find it challenging to come together in general with this person and see eye to eye with them. Let's see what we have in uh, the third placement here. So what to consider moving forward. I've said in multiple other videos, if you're not already considering this information, it must be in your subconscious, which reflects in our environment throughout a singular person or a group of people. So this singular person or a group of people, well, they seem to be with the Nine of Cups creating their own happiness. They seem to be self-sufficient, not really reliant on anyone else for their happiness. This person doesn't need anyone to validate them as a person. They seem to be happy being single and in their own company, which is where we want anyone to be, especially if we ourselves are looking to be in a relationship. Clarify that Nine of Cups. Okay, so this person with the Nine of Cups to Justice, <coughs> excuse me, they feel like this is only fair to the both of you or to both of y'all's situations that they create their own happiness, maybe to bring balance into this situation, maybe to bring truth or fairness to the situation, they feel like they need to create their own happiness in order to come forward. Or maybe they feel like it is only fair that they stay single. How's it naturally progressing for the both of you? Okay, so for the both of you, the devil shows up how it's naturally progressing. So you both might be facing a lot of addictions or temptations when it comes to this situation, which it makes sense why balance your energy is the main topic or theme for this reading as both you and this person might be tempted to reconnect, might be tempted by other people, might be tempted to What's the word I want to use? Um, you both might be tempted to uh, keep your feelings and emotions inside, suppress your emotions for each other, which by the way is unhealthy, especially if done for a long period of time. It can manifest in dis-ease of the body. Why is the devil here as how it's naturally progressing. Clarify the devil. Seven of Pentacles, yeah? <clears throat> the devil to the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like it, there's just been a lot of time wasted on both parties, on both parts. And you both are looking at this situation, this dynamic between you both and realizing there's been a lot of effort, there's been a lot of 
maybe time, blood, sweat, and tears, effort, money poured into this. And all that has came of it was toxicity, obsession, addictions. I also want to point out that this justice card being in there, well, clarifying the Nine of Cups in their placement and their energy is, I mean, that's the balancing of the scales. Balance your energy. Maybe this person is trying to do that. They're trying to balance their own energy. Let's take a look at your advice. Okay. Your advice with the King of Wands is to make sure you know what it is that you want. Be very specific about what it is that you want, either with or without this person. Be very specific about what it is that you need. If your own needs aren't being met with the Page of Pentacles, be sure to take control of your own needs to go after what it is that you want that you need with integrity all obviously clarify that king of wands yeah that's what I'm getting so the king of wands to the emperor Definitely go after what it is that you want, that you desire in your life. Make sure your value, your worth is secure within yourself, that your needs are being met, or yeah, your needs are being met. No matter what the circumstance with this person is, make sure you are creating your own mental stability Make sure you are getting organized. You know, take charge of your own life. And maybe this person will follow suit. And maybe not. If it was meant to be, then it will be, right? All right, let's see your advice. Okay, so when it comes to this person with the elephant spirit, learn from the past. There's definitely a situation with this person where they are meant to show you something. They are meant to teach you a lesson. Maybe with this justice card, it's indicating that this person has learned their lesson when it comes to you. Maybe, maybe not. Let's read a little bit deeper into Elephant Spirit Learn from the Past. It's number 25. Are you feeling uncomfortable with a tradition, custom, or familiar behavior that no longer fits who you are? Do you wish the past could be erased so it could no longer cause you a moment's pain? Elephant, spirit. I just lost my spot. All right. Elephant Spirit is here to encourage you to write a different story and alter the traditions in ways that acknowledge that we all evolve for transformation is our nature. Elephant Spirit calls you to not be selective in your memory because ignoring the good or the bad will prevent you from growing your wisdom and strength. Build on the best of the past, learn from the worst, and walk into the future with dignity accompanied by elephant spirit who remembers the truth and honors your strength and wisdom. So I feel like definitely with balance your energy, you may be focusing on the negatives of the past with this person. And you're maybe wanting to change a habit that keeps you stuck in the past from, yeah, learn from learning from the past. The, these 
habits or behaviors could have something to do with this devil card but at the same time if that is the case then this person is also trying to balance their own energies trying to create their own happiness trying to heal from this past ending or betrayal backstabbing doesn't even have to be that deep but this is a Scorpio reading and Scorpios have a lot of depth to them I hope that's helped and I want to I want to thank everyone and say that I appreciate everyone for liking and subscribing to my channel and I hope to see y'all in another video take care